initially, you know, our, our, our landing page is Schoology. So um, everything's on Schoology. They, when they open up, they have an agenda and then we get a daily agenda that summarizes what we're gonna do for the day. And then um, we have uh, announcements or whatever. I design all of these agendas and it's different every week. I have it for the rest of the year already. Kind of like, so that's just what I, but yeah, so the kids come in, they know their daily agenda. So we always start off together in one big meeting. We go through like an SEL activity, um, also bringing in kind of ELD strategies using tier two vocabulary. So I try to like, you know, get it all in because, because independent studies is so, you know, condensed. You know, we have a short amount of time that um, we actually see the kids live. Um, I try to get as much in as, uh, as possible. Um, I do ELA with them, which is we use McGraw-Hill. And I also do, um, with the uh, McGraw Hill, I integrate it into Nearpod. With Nearpod, I can collect their participation. I can keep track of who's participating. Because initially, I was just kind of doing this stuff live with them, and it's very challenging to get kids to participate online, right? That's, you can't just look in the chat, you know? So creating um, something where the kids can um, interact and then Nearpod collects all that information is really important. I integrate videos, so I try as much as possible to integrate some videos so that keeps their attention. And then when we read stories, we also do um, collaborate boards a lot. Um, so the kids get to uh, put in their thoughts about things. And the fun thing about the collaborate boards now, they just did an update, um, is they can add in, so they can add in video, they can add pictures, they can add audio, and they can add in um, you know, little memes and stuff like that. So they can do all kinds of things on here, not just put in their words. So <laughs> the Collaborate's really fun and the kids really enjoy that and they come up with really creative things. Um, every morning when we do that tier two vocabulary, the Collaborate's part of it. So they're, one of the tasks is to find something to help show how you understand what this word is. Like our word today was pressure. So they found, you know, they had to, it, it kind of forces them to think more about what pressure is and so they would show not only like the physical force of pressure but also you know the mental force of pressure so some of the kids were posting pictures of someone like stressed out kind of thing um, so that again they get to show uh, what they're learning in many different ways so it's something that I really love about Nearpod as far as my teaching philosophy is I really love being more of a facilitator than a direct teacher so that really uh, lends itself to that because the kids are all working on their, their um, activities and a lot of them, again, with IS and online teaching, it really needs to be self-paced. It really needs to be programs that each student can go at their own pace. And because they're presenting their screens, I can tell when they're stuck, I can tell where they're having problems. Um, so we have a whole system where I kind of, you know, we're checking in and we're talking and um, monitoring their progress and also if they're distracted or not paying attention you can tell as well um, but most of the kids do Lexia um, we use twig science which is perfect for independent studies because they have those digital lessons that you know it's just perfect for them to do on their own at their own pace um, so they do twig science and then they got to log in their PE every day um, one of the programs we do use is Flipgrid um, where the kids can actually share and talk. So sometimes like, you know, on Flipgrid, they've just shared like, you know, let me share my pet, right? So they, they bring their little pet up to the screen and be like, hey, here's my dog, right? And they get to, because they all want to share their pets anyways, right? So they do that sort of thing. Um, the collaborate activity that we do every morning is very open-ended and the kids can, um, you know, not only they're just sharing on your pet, but they're sharing out loud as well. So they're talking and interacting with each other. As far as my teaching philosophy is, I really love being more of a facilitator than a direct teacher. So that really uh, lends itself to that because the kids are all working on their, their um, activities and a lot of them, again, with IS and online teaching, it really needs to be self-paced. It really needs to be programs that each student can go at their own pace.